Look, I, I've met Elon a few times, and uh, but I know him much more by his public persona than his private person. Uh, so let's separate the two out. Let's just go with the public persona, which is kind of what everyone here is familiar with. I think what's inspiring about his public persona is that he is optimistic, uh, he is future focused, and he is a person of action. Uh, and we're just lacking that across the board. There's a lot of billionaires in, billionaires in this world. Most of them are boring. Elon Musk is doing interesting things and taking risks. He's a builder. He's 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 passionate. Uh, he's doing things that are unequivocally good for humanity or trying to. So I think all of that is very inspirational, and we need more people like that. We need more heroes like that, so that we don't get trapped in this zero-sum game narrative of you know rich people bad and poor people good. What Nietzsche used to call slave morality, which was the inversion of the old classical antiquities morality, where power and might and were seen as goods, and you know later weakness was in victimhood were seen as goods. So we kind of go through these pendulums where either the person on top, the lion, the Caesar, is in charge. That's good. That's what we want. That's what our animal instincts want but then we're preached through christianity or puritanism puritanism or progressivism that weakness and victimhood are good but the reality is you know neither is good you don't want a strong man you don't want to be a victim all of us can achieve all of us can self-actualize in the best way possible all of us just need to show up and be our best selves and that's what elon is doing he's being his best self in public it's it it is just completely shocking to me when someone criticizes Elon Musk publicly and you can just see the jealousy dripping off the tweet. Um, you can literally just see that the sheer unhappiness and the misery that this person is in when all they can do is criticize someone who has done so much. So it just, it just reveals more about the critic than it does about the so-called man in the arena, which is Elon Musk. So yeah, he's impressive. He does make me question if I'm doing everything I could with my life if I'm thinking big enough. That said, I have no desire to be Elon Musk. I don't want to die on Mars. I'm perfectly happy on Earth. Um, I'm, I'm not obsessed with building rockets or electric vehicles. I admire them as technological marvel, marvels. But he does make me say, hmm, there's a guy who's following his most intense passions and he's following them publicly. Um, and am I, am I following my own passions as intensely as he is following his. So I just want to make sure I'm not leaving anything on the table. But I'm a very, very different person.